Goku survived his battle with Frieza. However, planet Nemec had finally reached its limit, exploding in spectacular fashion and leaving Goku nowhere to be found. Back on Earth, Vegeta and the relocated Namekians resolved to stay with Bulma for the time being. Not much time had passed before Grand Elder Guru once again passed away, this time surrounded by his people. With Mori as the new Grand Elder, the Namekian Dragon Balls would be ready in one Namekian year, or 130 days on Earth. Though the Namekian Dragon Balls were only capable of reviving one person per wish, they could revive those that had died multiple times. Upon making their wishes to bring Goku and Krillin back, everyone received some shocking news. Goku was alive and he was on his way back to Earth. To prevent Krillin from being brought back to life on the now destroyed Namek, his soul was brought back to Earth with the first wish and then revived with the second. No longer needing to revive Goku, next in line to be brought back was Yamcha, whom everyone was more than happy to see. Then, another 130 days had passed, and two of the three wishes had been used to bring back the beloved Chaozu and Tien. Then, with the third and final wish, the Namekians were transported to a new planet. Along with their legendary Dragon Balls. Hey, it's me, Goku! What's that now? You're telling me Frieza's alive? And right now he's making his way to Earth with his father? They're probably gonna do something awful while I'm not there, aren't they? You're not gonna get away with this, Frieza! Huh? Who are you? Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! The fight for the future against the android terror! You don't want to miss it! <laughs>